When I decided to paint this picture, I just had to use Art Rage 6. I wanted to use that really thick paint they've got to get the textures on those rocks. And I wanted to use dirty terps to get the textures on the sand and in that distant uh, background. So let's get right into it. <laughs> When I was looking through photos with an eye, uh, looking for ideas for something to paint, I came across this one uh, of some uh, a family um, beach combing, I guess, collecting mussels and cockles and things off the beach. Uh, this was only a tiny portion of the photo, actually. They were really in the distance, so I've zoomed right in. But straight away, I knew exactly what. I was going to paint this in. I was going to use Art Rage 6 because I wanted to use lots of dirty terpses and uh, sort of colours to put, use my dirty terps custom brush that I made to get all these textures of the sand in that painting. And I wanted to use really thick oil paint that you can only get with the custom brushes in the foreground on the rocks and on that moss. So this was going to be a painting of um, contrasting textures so you'd imagine you painting with dirty terps and really thick paint and having areas of the painting some of it with that dirty terps and some of it with thick oil paint and that's uh, exactly what I wanted to get here and that's what I set out to achieve and to be honest I think I've done an all right job so I'm looking at the canvas, I began with the roller brush. So I'm using a combination of default brushes and my custom brushes. So uh, I've got an A3 size canvas here. Uh, I'm finding that I can work well on an A3. And then when I want to upload it to Redbubble, I will enlarge it in a program. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Bear with me. I'll have a quick look. Okay, so the program is called Photo Zoom Classic 7, and I um, enlarge it up to about 36 inches so I can put it on Redbubble, and that works fine for me. So working on A3 is a good size that gives me enough detail to work on and um, not worry too much about issues with lag and things like that. So once I've got the um, initial colors on using the roller, I use my custom brush, which was the, uh, I've got a dirty terps brush, and I put all of that sort of speckled colors over the top on the same layer. When I did that, I then went to use um, the just a, a regular uh, normal square brush to start painting, and that's what I'm using now. And I pretty much got all of the scene painted in that i got the people in and everything i created a new layer here um i think yeah and set the blend mode to multiply to get this shadow in the distance i felt it needed something just to push that back a bit it wasn't uh, in the distance enough so i just created that layer there set the blend mode to multiply put that dark color on probably just at the uh, opacity slightly um, use the texture brush again, my um, Dirty Terps brush, to add some more texture to it. And then I went into another um, layer on the top of that and just to paint over it and get some of the highlights back in on the moss and on the um, highlighted water. And when I'd done that, I merged all of the um, layers down and then created a new layer to start putting the figures in and I wanted to do that because I wasn't I, I'm definitely moved them from the photograph if you check out the photograph I know it's very small but the people are walking out of the scene uh, on the left hand side so I wanted to move them over to the right put them on the um, rule of thirds ratio I guess uh, but I, I wasn't sure exactly how large I was going to make them so I wanted to put them on another layer just to give me that little bit of flexibility to uh, changing it slightly. And I'm roughing them in because I know that I'm going to go over these with thick paint and I'm just using a normal paint. And the reason I'm using normal paint is 
I didn't want to get too many brush strokes on this layer. I wanted to keep it reasonably flat because I wanted all of the brush strokes to come in with the uh, thick paint when I start putting that on. So this keeps it nice and flat. So it's like an, well, it's not like, it is an underpainting that I'm getting on there first. So that's the uh, first three. I'm not gonna paint all of the uh, people on this scene. I'm just gonna do the uh, dad. I guess it's a family. So I'm assuming that the, the guy kneeling down is the dad. Um, I'm just looking at, I didn't paint his bucket in. Uh, doesn't matter. In my painting, the bucket is on the other side of him that you can't see. So anyway, I, yeah, I thought I'd put the dad in and the mum and the uh, two smaller children. The other person I'd, could be from another family, could be from their family. So I, I, I felt that that kind of confused the scene somewhat. So I left that person out. And I just wanted to go with these four. So at this point, I'm thinking mm, the dad looks a bit big. I just need to make the, the others just a little bit bigger just to sort of get them in, in proportion with the dad, which is uh, what I've done there. And then I start painting over it again. And this time I'm going in with a little more detail and thick paint. So, But I'm still using um, default brushes. I haven't gone into my thick paint brushes yet so the only time i've used my custom brushes is for the dirty terps so i'm sort of just adding a little bit more detail now and, and defining the characters a little bit more than just this sort of um silhouette type affair that was was going off I'm working on the little girl painting highlights and shadows really just looking at the folds in and they're closed. You can't see it in the photo. I know it's tiny. I didn't want to make the photo too big that it was obscuring anything. So I've put it over the color wheel. I thought there you can see what colors I've picked by what goes on the canvas. So it sort of obscures the least amount of um, information. And I used um, a different screen for my source image. I've, I put it on a 27 inch monitor. So I've got a nice large image to work on. And I didn't use the reference image in ArtRage at all. Um, I wanted to use this much bigger image uh, that I could um, get a much better view of. So now I'm still using um, the regular brushes, but I'm using thick paint. And I've also up the uh, depth. I like to use the depth control and not the gloss right back. I'm not a, a huge fan of the gloss finish on the paint. I prefer the depth to the gloss. Uh, just a personal, personal choice, really. So now I'm in with my custom brushes. And I started off playing around with the um, brush that I've called a scumble brush to uh, get some nice textures on these rocks. And that was working okay. Uh, but I also used the, um, I think it's oil over painting brush I created, where it sort of really does paint over. And I was able to get this really thick layer of paint, which is gonna give me this contrast that I wanted. I'll, uh, now we're starting to see how this thick paint is contrasting against the sort of terpsy washes in the distant background. And uh, I just put a, a few brushes of it into the highlights of the water, putting it into the foreground. It's great for texture. Then I started painting in some more rocks that I felt it needed, put the highlights on those. And then, of course, I want to um, put the water around the rocks as well to make that sort of pop. Working on this foreground rock, pick it, picking up the colours, trying to... I'm working within this um, compl tr um, triadic complementary colour scheme, I think it is, where I'm trying to work with um, three colours from a triad, which is now available in Art Rage 6. It really does make choosing colours so easy. I do like that feature. So I'm just finishing off now. I decided to create a new layer set the blend mode to multiply and add a shadow 
just onto the um, characters, I felt they were too dominant. I wanted to knock them back and uh, make them a little bit more muted. So I, I created that layer, got it signed, and that is it. That is my painting of beachcombers at uh, Robin Hood's Bay, painted in Art Rage 6. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I've got lots of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.